In 1958, the Green Bay Packers won one game. Three years later, they would win the NFL championship and become world champions. It would be the beginning of a pro football dynasty and become one of the sport's most amazing stories. In 1958, the team won only one game, tied one, and lost ten. It was the worst record in franchise history. Then like a bolt out of the heavens, a savior arrived. He would have the title of coach and general manager, but in reality be much more. Vince Lombardi would, in essence, take the entire Packer organization on his shoulders. He took total control in 1959 and orchestrated an unbelievable turnaround. Green Bay's 1959 season would begin the most successful and astonishing nine-year period in the Packers' long and legendary history. This magical time frame was set up when Lombardi coached the Packers to its first winning record in 11 long years and the best record in 14 seasons. He took over a broken, undisciplined club and turned it into an immediate winner. But the best was yet to come. Between 1960 and 1967, the Packers won nearly 80% of their games and would post an 82, 23, and 4 record of unequaled NFL success in any 8 year period of time. No other NFL team has come close to this unbelievable success during a comparable time frame. Lombardi and the men who played in those glorious years had built a dynasty. The rise of the Packer dynasty describes the beginning of that amazing period. Starting with that first season in 1959 through the season of 1961 when the Packers would once again become world champions. This book takes the reader back in time to experience some of this legendary magic. What took place in Green Bay, Wisconsin in the 60s transcends the game of football. Millions witnessed it on television and thousands more in person. But what we have here is much more than another piece of Packer history. What took place is more of an inspiring narrative on a miraculous transformation of a group of men when one extremely passionate man would instill with them his noble values and unyielding pursuit of excellence. Lombardi was a practicing Catholic and attended Mass every morning of the week at St. Willibrod's Church. Stories circulated about Lombardi's mystical powers to make things happen, but he knew there was no mystery about the power of prayer. Lombardi was a man of strong values from which he would not deviate, nor would he let anyone work for him. He possessed a rare combination of faith in God, strong character, excellent teacher, and inspiring motivator. He could be extremely rough on his men, hoisting higher standards of performance upon them than they had ever or would ever experience. Yet, they grew to love the man. They have said so over and over through all the years since his death. He brought out a level of performance from these young men that was beyond their wildest imagination, which would leave a lasting impact. They all would help create a dynasty for this proud franchise. They would win not only because Lombardi desperately wanted them to, but because they wanted to. They not only learned and perfected how to win, but Lombardi also instilled in them the why. And yet why does this adoration of this man and his players still go on? Maybe it's because excellence in any field always draws attention and emulation. These men, this team, and their leader were the epitome of success. In their chosen profession, it has never been equaled. It still stands as a beacon of excellence. David Zimmerman is the author of five other books of the Green Bay Packers. They include Lambo Legends, Packer Profiles of Courage, In Search of a Hero, The Life and Times of Tony Cannondale, and Lambo, The Man Behind the Mystique. He also co-authored two books with his son Stephen, The History of the Green Bay Packers, Volumes 1 and 2. He has written over 25 books on diverse subjects and is presently a member of the Board of Directors of the Green Bay Packers Hall of Fame.